Here's another reason for you automotive bargain hunters to keep looking for alternate sources of vehicles. For the first time in history, used cars are at almost 30,000 for an average car. Uh, prices for used cars are soaring um, and a lot of people can't even afford used cars. Uh, in this article, there was a woman who went to a used car lot, it was on a tight budget, looking for a car um, about $7,000 and didn't find much. Uh, what she ended up buying was a Toyota Skyon, which is a lower level car with 160,000 miles on it. And even the dealer said, look, we sold the cheap, just helping the person out, right? Um, a lot of times you're gonna find that cars that were um, even a year ago in the four to 5,000 range are now $10,000 for these cars. Um, it talks about a 39% increase in prices over 12 months. And for the first time in history, half of American households have less income than is considered necessary to buy an average used car. Think about that. Half the people can't afford an average car, right? The sharpest jump in 40 years. So you want to look at alternate sources of vehicles, maybe auctions. We have a video where we talked about some other sources for vehicles that maybe not everybody's looking at where you can still get some deals. You can still get some um, discounts. And look at the difference of new to use. An average new vehicle is 46, but the average used vehicle is 39. It's not that much of a difference. Um, and here's where it talks about the increase. What used to be a $5,000 car is now 8,000. What used to be 8,000 is now 11 or $12,000. And with taxes, fees, and 10% down, the average used car costs $500 a month, even when financed for six years. So all of you auto bargain hunters looking for barn finds or um, maybe alternate sources, keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you get a good title, but look at these alternate type of sources where you can get deals on vehicles that aren't quite eye-popping used car values for cars with many, many miles on it. Here's the guy who um, sold his 2007 Tacoma with 170,000 miles on it. Um, he sold it for $6,000 with all those miles. So um, keep in mind that these vehicles are worth high prices. If you have a vehicle that um, is an older car with high miles, you probably still can get some good money for it. You just want to make sure you have a good title, that you have a good VIN check, and that you find the right buyer that will pay you good money.